हरे कृष्णा क्वेश्चन इफ गॉड इज नॉट रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर आवर फॉर पीपल्स बैड एक्शन एंड वेयर डज द लिविंग एंटिटी गेट द डिजायर टू डू टेरेबल थिंग्स इन ब्रूटल थिंग्स लाइक से हिटलर होलोकॉस्ट वेयर डज ई विल कम फ्रॉम आंसर ई विल द टेंडेंसी for evil comes from people's own past choices which are stored as impressions in their conscience in their mind and which they further aggravate by the choices that they make now to understand this you know when say a butcher is going to a butcher regularly kills animals so the butcher is going to initiate his child the son in the act of killing the first time say butcher picks up a knife to kill a hen butcher's hand may tremble but second time that the hand trembles less fifth time tenth time he kills effortlessly he kills thoughtlessly as if somebody is cutting sabji the butcher may kill uh, animals who are living like that so what has happened because of repeated killing the conscience which was there prompting a person not to do wrong that conscience gets dulled and dumbed and numbed and then it gets dumped so dumb means we mute it so okay. uh, then that means we don't hear its voice numbed means that it just becomes desensitized and dumped means we just neglect it so that afterwards one doesn't even notice anything at all that notice that anything is wrong at all so in this way one loses the inner guide that is there so all of us have free will and we as souls are originally virtuous we are parts of god and we are meant to be godly but we are covered over by impressions which prompt us to do right or wrong things depending on the nature of the in, in, in impressions that means the uh the, we could consider these impressions to be like prompts coming from a computer so when the prompts come a particular way then people choose accordingly so the prompts which uh, come that they, they do not force people to choose in a particular way would you like to run this program so now if a or yes or no i can choose both but if i keep choosing yes again and again then after some time that program becomes like a default program and then even without my consciously choosing that program gets chosen or rather i just choose that program unconsciously and it just becomes a part of who i am or what i am doing so now does this have to happen necessarily no definitely it doesn't but the fault of repeated wrong choices makes that a default and that default can be become a dangerous fault over a period of time in people who just lose their conscience and do whatever brutal things they feel are necessary will bring about their happiness or their success so our own choices and the habits that are the default habits that result because of choices are responsible for what we do so now in the bhagavad gita when this question of where the evil comes from is asked the answer is given as lust in 3.36 arjuna asks atakena prayukto yam papam charati purusha anichchana vivarshne maladiv niyojita what is it that impels me to do sinful activities even unwillingly as if impelled by force so krishna replies it is kamesha krodesha it is lust only arjuna which later degrades into wrath fury anger and that makes people do wrong things so now uh, lust at of course at one level it refers to sexual pleasure at another level it refers to the broad desire to control and enjoy another enjoy the other in lust the other is embodied at a sex, as a sexually alluring object uh, but in general lust basically represents the desire to control and enjoy anything that may be embodied as other so for hitler it was 
in the German territory, the European territory, the world, which he wanted to control and enjoy. And how did he try to do it? He eliminated anyone who came in his way. And he used whatever means uh, it was necessary to do that. So, the soul's terrible choices are because of the alien covering that the soul has chosen on itself and reinforced by the choices. So, but all of us can choose to act rightly. And of course, so we, so we can choose to act rightly if we want to. And if we desire to act rightly, Krishna is there to help us. You know, he's there to purify us and he's given us the holy name by which we can purify ourselves and thereby uh, uh, go beyond our past default conditionings. And we can consciously and determinedly make right choices and become virtuous again. And for those who refuse to become virtuous, then there are karmic reactions which come. These are reactions for their own past deeds which come and then it is they have to learn in the lesson in the school of hard knocks. So those who do brutality, they will get terrible suffering as the consequences and by those consequences, those will act a shock treatment which will eventually enable them also to get the good sense that I should not be making the wrong choices and then they will start making the right choices. Thank you. Hare Krishna.